first the exhilaration of a closely contested title defense in front of his hometown fans. The shock of losing an all-out war to Mikkel Kessler in Denmark. And the surprising domination of Arthur Abraham in Finland to recapture the WBC belt. Vision, Glenn Johnson entered the tournament as an unexpected replacement. A powerful knockout of Alan Green catapulted the former world champ, motivated and re-entitled to his impressive resume. Tonight, each man fake aiming for one more challenge, the right to meet undefeated WBA titleist Andre Ward for the Super 6 World Boxing Classic Championship. Johnson, which meant Carl Frotch made his American TV debut on Showbox three years ago, and since then, nobody in boxing has faced tough. And Johnson is a former champion who, in 2004, beat our Antonio Tarver, KO'd Roy Jones Jr., and won honors as Fighter of the Year. Johnson remains both one last chance to rejoin boxing's elite. Now, here's Steve Farhood with post-fight reaction from Copenhagen. He's this fight at his top level against him. Now, beat him to the hooks. Throw three hooks and he hooks back at you. Abraham, I proved to myself and shown a lot of people that I've got another side to my, my boxing ability, which is to box. A dominating performance. He keeps his distance. And he's also a physical guy. Very durable, he can take a punch. Weak last I ever been in. Fire! away to the body and to the head. Great hurry by Glenn Johnson. This is an opportunity for me. The time to waste. When you challenge and Tremor from my young gentleman. A frosh! You know, Shigaray needed distance yeah. back in the day. Fears between Marvin Hagler. Some respects, you know, people didn't give Hagler as much as for great as he was. Meeting as he wears his mic. LeBron could wear him relaxed, almost jocular in his responses. Yes, he was, and, and, and I was I was expecting him to be that. That led me to believe about fighting this tough guy. And and right to meet Glenn Johnson at the start of this fight. Then we he's certainly not attacking with those you told relax. But I tell looping overhand right with Alan Green. And now I'm looking at this pace. This are stretch aggressive to real problems making weight. He said I'm a hard worker. This is loose. You know, early in the abs to the body, they fought early, so there's not a lot of movement. England, United States, wait to retain his title. What a close decision. A war against Mikkel Kessler. He performed brilliantly against the. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, those body shots, but here he is. Now, this is where he needs to work, right there, Johnson. That's what he likes. And Frotch top. In the middle. Now, a looping right hand here. champion retired in 2001 after Louis. Now some Sorry, good Johnson. jabs to start. Yeah, I was going to say, Glenn Johnson discovered that punch here right now. I, I, I feel like the tie right now is going to change these guys right now. They're getting ready to fight. Really, you know, attack now. So I think start of the third. Hard up high. Rox got the right hand through. Rox now starting to move. You know. Applying the pressure. That's that right hand that we talked about. round with his punches but you knew you felt that he is going to knock Frotch out fire like I said Frotch, he's fighting weight and put on muscle unity especially Al when you consider the landscape remember Carl Frotch has landed a lot of punches Robert McCracken well that's a body shot they shot from long range the jab from Glenn Johnson to the nose of Carl Frotch is, is, is you know it's paying dividends both men landing big shots Down. Glenn Johnson landed that right hand kind of on the side of the head and it much like he did against Alan Green and then he followed up with sitting with us right now it's title fight as well the champion trunks the challenger is Glenn Johnson in the Miami Mavericks in the NBA Finals scheduled for 12. Glenn Frox is gonna have to he's going back with him Pressure. from the Bergen City. You talked to Glenn Johnson. Eyes to get. The last time he fought for the cloud, he he know heart when the fight. Definitely have a reserve um, champion. He has what we man is just <laughs> he, you know he's confident. You know he feels that he can beat any. What do you see it so far, Andre? I see Carl Frost getting a little bit more comfortable of skill. It's it's a fight of wheels. That's important for him. Of him, but he's not having a success. See Glenn Johnson. Johnson slow with the left hook. Feline. 
Now the crotch takes his time, throwing off the stool. Get away are his trainer saying you got to get busy. You're not going to win. Ooh, nice right hand by came off a counter punch. Right now, Carl is comfortable. A little bit more than Glenn Johnson, and I'll tell you, Glenn Johnson is a volume punch grown than Carl Frock. And to get closer, using the jab, now lands a right hand, right hand of the body, now tries to... By Johnson, we haven't seen... That you mentioned that the keys to victory for Frock form off and make him reset, rather than... And I think Glenn Johnson, two of the last round, he took a saw in the first two or three rounds. Very light for this fight, 166 and a half. As you mentioned, Andre, now the quick hands of Carl Frotch. This is an important fight for Guy TV. It's a and it's ridiculous. Oh, uppercut, Carl Frotch, another right hand. England, no. all choice words during our meeting, folks. Some of his biggest punches of the fight so far. That is a Glenn Johnson. It's right hand over the the to him as Glenn Johnson is right now. Your response? It would up, uh, hold his end of the bargain. He's gonna get what he's been asking for. All right, spoken like a two three champion, Carl Frotch from and two Frotch has three to happen. Be very tough for John. Home for that one two. Yep. Walking. He's not galloping, and it takes him longer to close the gap. He needs to start moving rather than just walking out. Right. Down the door from the very beginning, as well as the jab for Carl. He tries to get on his chest. Backs up Johnson. Put it in the ring, folks. You don't see him on the balls. Well, you see that he has the edge, and we know he's winning the battle. Johnson. With a right cross. And Frotch is relaxed. See, this is the slickness that is set is. He's relaxed. His defense is working, and he's giving these little subtle movements that keep. Oh, oh. Big right hand by Johnson, though. Carl Frotch don't look. As he backs up. <laughs> Does he have bravado or what? He says he may want to be. You realize I just don't have it today, and that may be what. And our Jim Gray is standing by Joel Hunter. Uh, he was having a couple of good moments in the last round. He landed a good right hand, but Frotch answered him right back to get where he has to. He has to step with his jab. He's reaching with his jab right now. He's looking for one big punch over the top. Now, whether or not that's there, whether or not that's the only way he feels like he could win. Double right hand. Absolutely right, Jim Gray, but Carl Frotch comes right back, throwing hooks, trying to find a hole. Seventh round. And Johnson has been in so many wars with so many great fighters. See, right there is where Glenn Johnson wants to be. This is... Glenn Johnson's going to have to continue to go downstairs. Yep. You know, Carl Frotch is still winning this battle. Yes. Even though he's giving Glenn Johnson opportunities. Here's a body shot and combination. That wow. <laughs> This is right hand. By this carved out some inside territory. Johnson's having more than his moments. The time Carl Frotch lands that I anticipated. Hit a little bit of everywhere. Johnson... Got himself back in this fight in some way. That's where the, he needed to be in terms of where to get. Look at the distance. He's right there in front of Carl Frotch. And doubles with the right hand. And he's older as Carl Frotch and Johnson. A two-time champion himself who's moved down to 168. The winner to advance to the Super 6 World Boxing Classic Final to take on Andre Ward. Carl Frotch comes out strong. It's because Glenn Johnson... Yeah, Johnson, a couple of gun Johnson's punches straight. Very long elbow. He's got the reach advantage, 75. 42 years of age, and he is in another war here for having the grit at that age to do this. Good. Right oh, hand. Big right hand by Johnson. Backs up, Frotch. Frotch fighting off the ropes now. Carl, a little time. Did it hurt him? Those body shots are, are, are very hard inside. This oh. is the time Johnson could have. Somebody say fight on the eighth round. You can press this rivalry book. Carl Frotch showing what a round this eighth round.
Double. Very, very tough round to score yes. right now, Gus. Oh. You bought a little and all that. Johnson. For the final 10 seconds. And had big moments in this round. Very good straight running. And there's the double left hook. The two weapons that we said he had to use. Now, Frotch, meanwhile, landed lots of good counter punches as well. There's the distance between the two fighters. Classic semi-final. Glenn Johnson. Carl Frotch's. You see how active both fighters. Uh, control this. Right hand by Glenn Johnson. Right hand again. Oh, what a chin. What a chin by this tough Englishman. And he answered back with combinations. You got to. This is how we want to see a champion fight. Not as active as he was in the last couple of rounds. See, he's able to get those punches. Right hand. Now, Glenn Johnson with a minute and four remaining to go in the ninth round. Glenn having moments, but it's that has Frotch ahead in this round. Yep, that's exactly right. <laughs> in the dictionary is the picture. They know it's at stake. Yeah. This is a, a, a pass to the man that I'm sitting next to, yeah. Andre Ward. And this thing... Gets Andre Ward's looking at this. A fight of attrition, Andre. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Johnson. And, you and know that could have... When will it fall? Yeah. Antonio Tarver and Glenn Johnson in favor of Carl Frotch, obviously. Frotch has everything going his way. And then he relaxes and he let Glenn Johnson have a moment or two that really... He got to stay on top of Glenn Johnson. And Andre Ward, how Frotch lets his hands go, even though there may not be an... He's doing the right thing. He's staying steady. Beautiful right hand by Johnson. Right on the button. That backs up Frotch. Didn't hurt him. No, Frotch punched it out of it. And a tough, tough man. Taking some shots in this fight. And part of this handling with that right hand. Now smiling at Johnson. And Antonio, you told him that. Hitting you everywhere. So, so Carl Frotch is as well as mentally. Another right hand by Johnson. Right on the. Was determined to take Bernstein. It looks like Carl Frotch was willing to go. He was, and he had the mental toughness, as Antonio said, they got past Frotch, has thrown the combination to the hazard. Signature overhand right that he's had some. Also snapped his head. Been able to do that effectively through most of this fight. Now, in this last round again, there's a right hand by Johnson. He's led and stayed ahead. Semi-final of the Super 6 World Boxing Class. Johnson, a late ad in white. The winner to take on Andre Ward. With a couple of those right hands. That he is a guy that now he's willing to go to distance and the limit to get the victory. I'm sure you saw Taylor knock him down with the right and said, I'm a bigger man. Of a four-point combination. Oh. Right hand by Johnson. Crotch walks through it. That was the best punch of the night for Glenn yes. Johnson and Carl. Frotch with some swelling under his right eye. Left hook Johnson. Wow. Up jab Frotch. Glenn Johnson. Carl Frotch is winning this fight and he deserves huge credit. 42 man. Understands that, you know, if a loss here, Al, and that's why you see those for him to get enough. Carl Frotch, Kelly Pavlik now moving. Lack of success is going to go back to Germany. I have a big goal. In. I mean, you have to feel that this guy's in phenomenal shape tonight to be able to withstand his punishment. And he just ate two more right hands from Johnson and kept. What an effort by both men. Guys are going to war. He's asserting his dominance, but this is a brutal fight. The man is doing, but it has not been easy. Coming forward, Frotch landing big punches, but then Johnson able to get in those right hands. Time Frotch answers with these combinations on the inside. Challenger, the winner to advance to the Super. And Carl Frotch has been in the war to really stop a guy like him. And the problem Glenn Johnson has is so it's got to be a little distressing. He's probably wondering, yeah, I may still land some more, but will they hurt him? He's not the classic British. No, and then, like I say, deceptive. I mean, he, his greatness. Oh. There's the uppercut. We were waiting for that to really emerge, and it finally did. He's knocked people out with that uppercut. Oh, I think it's his chin that is, is, you know, how do you stop him? 12th and final round in the Super 6 World Boxing Classic semifinal. The champion, Carl Frotch in black.
his game. Maybe 20 seconds forward as they will combine both titles. Showed up. Two young men in their prime. Carl Crotch, Glenn Johnson, goal 12. That, that still. He wins the 